Hey, what's up, guys? It's that time of year. Uh, October. Uh, everything's changing. Of course, this is the month, uh, at least in the in, in the Americas, anyway. It's the, the month of the macabre, the horror. Uh, of course, to me, the horror is uh, year-round, particularly this year. But uh, this is a story kind of has, is more known by other writers. It has critical acclaim. It's not well known. The Black Spider. Yeah, I got this a couple of years ago. I just got around to reading it. Jeremiah Scott Health. That's a pseudonym for a Swiss pastor uh, from the Bern region of Switzerland. Maybe Arkham Reporter, you'd know where that is. Uh, just like Melmoth the Wanderer, it has a lot of Christian themes in it. Right? But uh, the way it's done, this is essentially a a monster story There's really like nothing before it I guess it's not like any of the Hoffman stories or Poe or anything from a similar time period uh, essentially the black spider uh, born of the devil and of course the old old Nick tries to make a deal and it doesn't uh, the, the, the very weak uh, the very human villagers are faced with a, a dilemma uh, so essentially, the black spider is sent to punish them. <laughs> uh, and how it comes about is interesting. The character in this, the, one of the main characters is a strong-willed female, okay, who normally would be like, you know, I guess the heroine of the, the stories today, nothing but. Uh, she actually brings about the disaster. It's very interesting uh, how it's done. I don't want to give away too much. Apparently, this was filmed. There's a silent version of this. I don't know if it's... Lost or not, and there was a film version, I think, in the 70s in a modern setting. Uh, and I think they recently just made one. I think it's a Swiss film. I believe the female character in that, though, uh, is made the actual heroine of the story. Um, in this, she's she's not. <laughs> uh, there's some really nice uh, descriptions in the beginning, too, of like the pastoral life you know, of harvesting and... Uh, in this region, you know, things like wine soup, things that are probably all long gone now, um, which adds to the poignancy of it. But also, in the end, and I'll bring it back to what horror is. I always say horror is a warning. Okay, even cosmic horror, to a degree, is a warning. It's not as bleak and nihilistic as it would be uh, uh, described. Like when they describe Lovecraft as nihilistic, I, I don't really agree with that. But in terms of this story, it's pretty clear. Uh, the creature in this, the black spider, the monster, like, is like a killing machine, uh, is born essentially of humanity's weakness and guilt. Right? And not, particularly the second story, okay? because the creature is defeated, uh, but it comes back uh, because people forget, people become obsessed with themselves, people turn away from God, right? people turn away from goodness. Uh, and the creature rears its head again. It's really, it's, it's kind of interesting how it's done. Uh, also, it's interesting too because in terms of the, the in terms of the religious, okay, even the good-hearted, even those who sacrifice, they really do sacrifice uh, to defeat this great evil. The the par the price paid by its by the few heroic people in this is the ultimate price. And the ending is interesting too, but let me just read a little scene from it. I don't want to give away too much. Oh, hold on a second. Yeah, it's a pretty horrific description. So very, very well done. Okay. The closer the day of the birth approached, okay, the whole idea is that uh, the devil wants an unbaptized child in return for. Uh, helping the villagers out with a problem with an oppressive uh, Teutonic knight that rules the land. Eh? The closer the day of the birth approached, the more terrible the burning in her cheek became, and the more the black spot swelled, stretching distinct legs out from its center and spreading little hairs, shiny points and stripes appearing on its back. The bump became a head, and from it flashed glinting venomous glances as if from two eyes. Everyone shrieked at the sight of this venomous spider upon Christine's face, rooted in her face, growing there, and they fled in fear and horror. There was much talk, 
all sorts of different advice, but whatever this affliction might be, no one was sorry for Christine. And they shuddered, seeing her presence at every turn. And the more they fled, the more she pursued them, hurrying from one house to the next. The devil was reminding her of the promised child she knew, and she tried to prevail on the others to make this sacrifice. Sacrificing the children, right? hounding them in her infernal terror. But the others hardly paid attention. Christine's torments caused them no pain. She herself was to blame for her sufferings, and if they couldn't escape her, they said, what is that to us? No one promised a child, and no one is going to give one up. Furiously, she importuned her own husband. Like the others, he fled from her. <laughs> and when he could flee no more, he spoke cold-bloodedly, saying soon it would get better. It was just a common mole. When it had finished growing, the pain would cease, and then they would tie it off. Right? So, this is the beginning of the birth of the black spider. Right? Like I said, there's a film that came out, a version of this recently. I'm sure they turned this on its head. Uh, because uh, you, can't, you could not film this story but the way it started. Uh, also, someone made a good point when I was reading a, a, an analysis of this at the end. Ultimately, yeah, even the black spider yeah, and uh, the fallen angel who uh, brings it about or who, uh, is the, the instigator in this, even they are under the dominion of the Lord. Right? So the whole idea is that uh, this is also, I mean, uh, God has a hand in this. In the end, God <laughs> uh, is, I guess you could say, behind this. There's a lesson that needs to be taught. But what that lesson is, well, it's pretty clear in here. But anyway, of course, uh, this makes the story problematic today. But it doesn't bother me as an agnostic person. Uh the old religion, the old faith, you know, the warnings of it. Uh, look around you. <laughs> anyway, recommended. <laughs>